So if you've been watching live streams, especially mine, and you like how I'm able to pull comments up on the screen, or maybe you wanna do this for your live stream, in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly how to do that in Ecamm Live and add your specific brand font and your brand colors so that you can really customize it for your brand and your business. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up entrepreneurs? It's Diana here with Entree Woman TV, helping you share your vision using video. So whether that's more of a tech based kind of a tip, like we've been diving deep into recently here on the channel, or it's a video marketing tip, like I dive into as well here on the channel and my video simplified podcasts, both are here on the channel. So if that's something that you're into, definitely consider subscribing, but let's get into the tutorial. So before we actually go over to the computer and showing you all the things when it comes to the comment, we and actually need one to populate on the screen so that we can actually change it. So generally, it doesn't matter if like if you have a pro or standard account, this will work for both. You will need to have a comment. Now, if you've never had one before, if you've never done this before, what you'll do is just go live privately to YouTube, for example. Once you actually go live, you'll hit on that comment bubble so that the comment and reactions window can show up. Now, this is where all of the comments and reactions will show in a real live stream, but for our purposes today, you just type in something, anything like, I don't know, white chocolate is the greatest chocolate there is. And you can type that into the section, in this section for your comment. Now you'll see where your comment comes up. This is where everybody else's would also. Go ahead and click on your face and your profile and that automatically brings this into Ecamm Live. Just that right there is how you actually will bring real time comments into your live stream. Now to change it, you would need to do this step anyway if you've never had a comment on your screen before or you've never brought them into your live stream before because we actually need a comment to be able to make those changes. So if you have one and you're not going live again to do this test, in your overlays window should be one of your last saved actual comments and you can bring and use that one or you can go and make one like I just described. However, we all should have one on the screen right now so let's dive into how to actually make these changes and get it a customized look. So once you have a comment on the screen, especially if you're pulling from overlays like I am, you just hit that eyeball to bring it on the screen. What I like to do is just kind of keep mine centered, but you can drag yours to wherever you like. And if you are trying to get it centered, there will be a little line to kind of help you with that. And then you have this that'll just let you stretch this out or make it as big or as small as you like. Um, and you can also make this change in real time when you're live streaming. But you'll hit on this pencil tool here, and this is specifically the font that I use, uh, which is AZO Sans, and then I like the medium size, and I use a 24 uh, font. There's no right or wrong or rhyme or reason, it's just more or less preference, and you can make it as big or as small as you like if you wanna just drag the scale and kinda eyeball that. Um, now, once you've chosen from whatever font family that you like or prefer uh, or whatever is your brand and this is pulling from what you have saved on your computer so your fonts library is all here and once you pick your specific brand font uh, whatever that it is and you know just adjust it however you like so if you want to change the color of the background you click on that colored box and you can drag this to whatever color that you specifically like um, or based off of maybe what you have saved if you're using something like final cut pro 10 then you can go to one of your brand font colors and use that and then if you want to adjust the actual color of the font what you'll do is click on this bubble here and this will pull up this color circle that you can use to just kind of adjust it to whatever you like. I just kind of keep mine at white and that's just based on preference. Um, but you really can make it whatever, whatever shade of white that you want or anything like that. Um, and just really get creative with it. Um, but that's typically where I tend to leave it. Once you have all of the things that you want chosen for this specifically, um, you can even add in emojis and all this extra other stuff, whatever you need, or you can change this if you want to change the, the text so that you can actually see with more words, what font looks better or which one is too thin. Maybe it's not super visible. And so again, I'm gonna go back to the ones that I like and that medium and then click on save once I'm actually ready to save it. And then you can see now this last comment, even though it was what 
this person recently said, um, I can change that to add in a paragraph, maybe if you're answering questions or something so that you can actually see, oh, is it too small? Is it too big? And what kind of looks best for your live stream? And then the next time when you're going live and you see somebody's actual comment comes up in the live stream, it'll look and be, have all those same things, those changes that you just made already saved for your live stream. So one of the other cool things that you can do with Ecamm Live is actually create a scrolling ticker so that while you're live, if you wanna transition from, let's say the news portion of your show to to let people know like up next, this is the next topic or what have you, you can also create a scrolling ticker. And so in the next video, I'm gonna be walking you through how you can go back into this same similar area and make a scrolling ticker. And you can click on the video on the screen above. However, that's where I'm gonna leave it for today's video. And with that guys, live a passion. I'll see you on the next one.